1.2 is right around the corner, and if you're not prepared, you might want to pay attention to these tips that I'm going to give you today. What's up guys, it's your boy Damone, and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. If you guys haven't heard, they've officially announced that they're going to be the, doing the 1.2 official live stream here where they're going to be showcasing 1.2 on December 11th. Uh, what that means for us is if you guys are PST, it's going to be legit 3 a.m. All right, our time PST, I will be awake for that. Uh, we absolutely will live stream the event. Um, I will need somebody to translate it uh, for me because it will be in Chinese. So if you guys uh, are willing to translate and, you know, jump to a Discord call with me and translate this uh, while we watch this, definitely, definitely let me know. Now, as you guys can see on this image, shouts out to Zinyet uh, for posting this on his Twitter. Um, the two silhouette figures looks like it's probably going to be Ganyu and Albedo, uh, which are, if you guys haven't guessed, might not have heard, are probably going to be the characters coming to 1.2 alongside some other features. Uh, this is going to be an opportunity for us to see all the new stuff that's coming in 1.2 uh, alongside with Dragon Spine Mountain. A lot of quality of life features and changes. Things like being able to automatically pick up all your drops after you finish a dungeon without having to pick them up. And after this event happens, which what is pretty much going to happen is they're going to start dropping, you know, teasers, trailers, images, videos, all types of stuff leading up to the release of the event. So there'll be tons of new information for us to work with. We'll probably finally be able to see what the new characters can do. And then we can start speculating on which characters we should be prepping for based on your preference for the type of character that you're looking for. Or if you guys want to wait, you guys can wait for the global live stream, which is going to happen five hours after the initial live stream. Um, and then you guys can tune into that one as well. Uh, that one will give you everything you need without requiring a translator. I, of course, want to make sure I get the details first, so I'll be there. Another thing I want to mention before we get into the rest of the details is that there is also going to be a new event that is going to allow you to complete delivery orders that will give you Primo Gems every day. It's going to be three orders per day that's going to reset at the normal time, server reset time, whatever server you guys are on, and then you guys will be able to get some free Primo Gems as well. Now, regardless of what character you're looking for, there are some key things that I do want to talk to you guys about, uh, specifically in terms of preparation uh, for these characters, mainly because it takes a while. Um, I know I've put out preparation videos before and I'm like, hey guys, just make sure you get this and this and this and this and this. Uh, but after sitting down and, and crunching some numbers as to how much time it actually takes to farm the amount of materials uh, that you guys need it's roughly about 62 times that you would have to farm just an xp ley line so the xp ley lines on the map it's it's roughly about 62 times that you have to farm them to get enough character xp cards in order to take a character from level 1 to 90 on top of the materials that you'll have to gather anyway now this is just a rumor and you guys can do with this information what you will but the rumor is blink blink <laughs> wink wink all right that kingshin flowers will probably be important i don't know for who all right alongside cecilia's uh which you guys can find at the top of star snatch cliff where i'm at here now for those of you guys who were getting materials previously for venti alongside of those materials materials that are important such as teachings of diligence and teachings of ballad could come into play if you guys might be prepping for these characters Outside of those materials, back to talking about the 62 ley lines you guys are going to have to farm. Granted, this number is going to be less if you guys use condensed resin, but roughly speaking, if you guys are doing your total resin refreshes every single day, meaning that you're spending the, you know, 10 bucks a day or whatever to get your primo gems up, then it's roughly taking you about three to four days to get all of the character XP if you did nothing but ley lines, no events, no anything. For the free-to-play experience, if you guys aren't doing any refreshes at all, it's about three to four times more time than somebody who's doing all of the resin refreshes every single day. So if you take that into consideration and you guys are trying to prepare for at least one of those characters, it'll take you roughly between nine and 12 days to get all of the character XP possible if you guys are just doing ley lines. So if you guys are looking for something to do with your resin 
and you guys are trying to prepare for one of these new characters, especially after you see their showcases, um, this is something that you guys really want to think about. Now, you'll also want to split that up as well and take into consideration what kind of talent books or skill books you'll need. So again, back to teachings of ballad and or teachings of diligence. Uh, those are two things that, of course, you'll want to work in. Now, I, I will say that as important talents are, you can still probably wait till they actually come out to farm these. But whatever order you decide to do them is entirely up to you. But those are two of the things that you will need. If you guys already have weapons leveled up, rumor has it that we might need a bow or a one-hand sword. So maybe you guys have one of those lying around. Uh, but those are things that you'll want to prepare for as well. Once we get past all of that, uh, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is really kind of saving all of your fragile resin. And the reason I say save your fragile resin, even though it's very apparent that you guys will need a ton of time to farm the material so you guys can be ready on launch day uh, when you guys attempt to summon for maybe one of these heroes or both of these heroes, is because we potentially could be getting new gear. All right, there's a lot of rumors going around that there's new gear coming out. And with this situation, I would just err on the side of caution uh, to be more prepared. Because let's say, for instance, they, I don't know, magically came out with like a like a hydro set or like a cryo set or something like that. Uh, or any type of new gear that you could craft or something like that. Um, if they did that and you spent all of your resources before in an all-out attempt to just be stronger for the now then this could put you in a situation where you're like, damn, I should have waited. I should have held on to my resources and saw what was going to actually drop in version 1.2 so I could have been more prepared. So this is me telling you now uh, that you guys might want to slow down for a second and save your extra resources. So if you guys plan on gaining any adventure ranks or getting any adventure rank XP along the way, um, and then let's say for your adventure rank rewards, you guys are getting free fragile resin, um, I would just kind of stick that off to the side uh, because you guys can just farm the other stuff with the current resin that you have. Now, for my peeps that are just doing your full resin refreshes every day, that's not going to apply to you do whatever it is that you need to do because you're just going to continue to do that uh, and if you guys are in the median in the middle of that where you guys are just doing some re some refreshes um, then it's just going to be all up to your discretion but being prepared for a hero is really just as important as summoning for them because when you have these characters ready to go um, it makes it a lot easier to work them into your team comp once they arrive now, we don't necessarily know yet if we're getting four stars or not. There hasn't been any teases. I mean, there's some, been some speculation, but nothing we know for sure. But if we are going to be getting new four stars as well, we will be finding out uh, most likely on this live stream that they're going to be presenting for us here on the 11th. Outside of that, guys, it's just really, uh, again, getting in the mindset of, all right, look, I got a very limited time to do what I need to do. Um, there's important resources that I need to get if I do intend on summoning for, you know, again, you are Albedo, if these happen to be the heroes that are coming. And then on top of that, it's just like once you are prepared and then looking at once you get the hero, what are you going to do, going to do next? As always, um, I will do a full character guide review build, show you guys what they look like at, you know, full maxed out constellation, level 90, so on and so forth. Um, so if you guys are waiting to see what that character can look like, uh, you guys can definitely expect that when and if those characters actually drop. But outside of that, guys, I know a lot of you guys are super duper hyped for Cyberpunk. I know I am. Uh, these are just some things I wanted to cover alongside with you guys to talk about that you can do. So you can kind of just do this, get your, uh, you know, energy expenditure, your resin activities out of the way so you can have more times for Cyberpunk because I know you guys are going to zone out for, for a few days. Uh, but with that, please make sure you guys stay on top of your stuff because the next major update for Genshin Impact is coming really, really soon. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys got any questions, comment comments concerns definitely let me know in the comment box below and i'll be happy to assist we will see you guys in the next video peace